I think food has no language. It just brings everyone together. My name is Britt and I'm one of the owners of Jingyan. I lived in Beijing, China for seven years. And while I was there, I opened a small bake to order bakery. The other owner of Jingyan, Leo, we both opened a cocktail bar in Beijing. It actually won the 2016 Bar of the Year Award through City Weekends. I grew up in Falmouth, I'm local. So after my international adventures, uh, we came back here to open a restaurant here. We worked for about three to four years in the industry to fully understand. And then when we were ready, we decided to open, which happened to be during the pandemic time. <laughs> it was obviously a risk. Um, everybody kind of reacted surprised, but I think when you truly love something, it doesn't really matter what time you open. Um, good food is good food. The Jingyan swallow of Beijing, it, in ancient times, it would nest under the ancient buildings. And when the city modernized and high rises were built, the swallow moved to making nests outside people's apartment. And Chinese people believe that this bird is good luck. It brings good luck to the family because if it nests outside your house, it means it's a peaceful place for them to live. So this restaurant, people can come here and unwind after a long day of work and enjoy the great service, the warm atmosphere, and the food and drink. So our chef, his name is Biz, and he's originally from Iran. I will never forget the first day that he cooked for us. It was before we were open, we were still getting ready for opening day, and he made this lamb dish. It was his grandmother's recipe. Uh, what I like to do is I like to utilize a lot of local ingredients, and work with a lot, a lot of local farmers and purveyors. We do very simple food here, technique driven, very simple, using local ingredients. A lot of people think this is a Chinese restaurant. It's a mix of cultures, a uh, hot pot of cultures here in Jingyan. Uh, we use a lot of techniques and flavors from all over the world, especially Asia, um, China, Japan, Southeast Asia, Thailand. I've been cooking since I was 13 years old. Um, I started cooking when I moved to the United States. When I moved to Portland, in 2009 to, uh, to I, from California, I moved here and I was doing, I was going to high school. I graduated from Coney High. You know, I came here to live uh, with my cousin at the time. And I fell in love with the city of Portland and the food scene in Portland was really growing and it still is growing um, from when I moved here. We have buns. Uh, we have a chicken, a mushroom and a tofu bun. We have ramen. We really care a lot about our vegan customers, so it was very important for us to have hearty vegan food. We have skewers. We also have wings, and all of our food is comfort, soul food. The other member of the team is the other owner. <laughs> His name is Leo, and he's also my husband. He has 10 years professional bartending experience. Bartending is what he wants to do with his life. Um, it's truly his craft and his technique. He's studied a British, Japanese, and American style of bartending. To him, ice is like fire for a chef. The temperature of the drink is very important. And so he's created an ice program and he hand carves ice every day. So his care towards his craft is evident. We also run happy hour daily from three to 5 p.m. and it's a special cocktail um, menu. All the cocktails are $10 and we have a discounted wings during that time. We hope that you can come and enjoy the warm environment and enjoy our food and drink and the service and come bring your family. <laughs>